I'd like to talk about how to factor a number or what it means to factor a number. What it means to factor a number is to list, create a list of prime numbers that can be multiplied together to give you that number. And I listed here uh, all of the prime numbers uh, that are less than 100 and there's, there's 26 of them. Uh, there's some discussion about whether you should count one as a prime number or not. Uh, but for right now, uh, for this application, one certainly fits into this. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to figure out how to uh, divide a number into uh, a set of primes. Let me show you an example. Let's take 12. Okay? So 12, we know that 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Okay? So that's uh, something we know. And uh, 3 is a prime number, but 4 is not. What do we know about 4? Well, 4 is equal to 2 times 2. So we're going to substitute that into there, and we'll get 3 times 2 times 2. Uh, and those are prime numbers. 3, 2, but we're missing one. There's one more number that we can multiply that's a prime number, and that's 1. So this is the factorization of, of 12. Let's uh, take another example. Well, let's take 88. It, it looks kind of tough. It, it does look kind of tough. And as you get better at division, you'll be able to, to perform factoring better. But for now, I, I want to just think about this in, in terms of uh, multiplication, because that's, that's uh, probably something you're better at. And I, I want to point out that 44 times 2, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 4 is 8. So we know that 2 times 44 uh, are 1. Now, 2 is a prime number, but 44 is not. So that means 44 has to be divisible by other prime numbers. And uh, again, I'm going to point out, just based on my uh, own experience, that I can take 22 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4, that means 44 is equal to 2 times 22. Okay, so I'm going to substitute that, 2 times 22. Okay, so 2 is a prime number, but 22 is not. So we need to figure out what makes 22 work, and again, I'll, I'll point out based on my experience that 2 times 11. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, is 22. So I can substitute this in for 22. Okay, so now 2 is a prime number and 11 is a prime number. So we've got all the prime numbers. We're missing times 1. So these are the factors of 
uh, 88. And being able to uh, factor numbers is going to be something which is really handy. And again, it's something that as you get more experience and get a little more intuition with mathematics, it gets easier. But uh, ultimately, uh, it's a skill worth knowing and it's uh, something we'll be using uh, later.